3D printed this little Twitter bird. Figured it made sense for this video to 3D print a Twitter bird since we're doing Twitter stuff, but I've been wanting to 3D print more in videos, so I figured why not do it in this one. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity, and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So today, Okay, so for those of you who don't know, this microphone right here, when you buy this microphone, the Shure SM7B, you get these little wind cover things. You get this big poofy one and you get this one right here. This is probably the one that's more iconic and recognizable for this microphone. And I would love to use this one, but I can't do it because I always want to cover up as many plosives as possible. If you don't know what plosives are, they're the p, -p, p sounds and hard consonants that you get the little popping air noises that go into the mic's diaphragm whenever you're talking. And the big wind cover helps that more, but I don't want this big wind cover anymore. I've been using it so much. I'd love to have this much more clean, sleek, and small one. So for this video, I'm actually going to swap them. Do you see how much nicer that looks? It's just a nice little clean, sleek package. It looks so much better in this form. And I'm gonna try to keep it this way for this video, but if I get a bunch of plosives and I hear them in the edit, we're obviously gonna have to switch back. So if you hear plosives, that is why these p -p -p's, plosives, you probably heard some really bad popping noises right there. Those are plosives. And I really hope I can get away with using this and not having those. I see so many people using this mic like this, but I, for some reason, can't get away with it without having really bad plosives. So we're gonna see if we can do it for this video. But that's why you might hear some weird stuff if you do hear some weird stuff Without further ado, let's get into the video. Today, we are talking about another social media animation. I know we do it a lot, but today's one is going to be really cool. Recently, we did one for Twitch, where it looks like an actual chunk of the Twitch app or the Twitch website comes down from the top, and you can click subscribe or click follow. The animation does it, but it looks really cool because it looks like a little chunk of Twitch is coming down, and I kind of wanted to apply that to other social medias and other content creation platforms. So today, we're going to be doing it with Twitter, where it looks like a little square of Twitter pops up. You click the follow button, it goes away, and it's just a really cool animation and this style can be applied to a lot of other social media platforms so if you guys like this one and want one for like Instagram or TikTok or something like that let me know and I might be able to create that and put it in another video as well because I think this style is really cool where it looks like your actual Twitter is coming onto the screen so without further ado we're gonna take a look at the template that I'm gonna be providing in After Effects that you can download in the description right now but before you do download it or before you jump into After Effects just know this template has a little bit of a different way that you put some of the things in your profile picture goes in a little bit different than my other templates so make sure you're watching till the end make sure you get the tutorial on how to use the template and then you can jump down download it open it up and you'll know exactly what to do so without further ado let's jump into this template and take a look at how to edit it all right guys so here we are inside of after effects this is what it's going to look like when you open up the template you got a couple folders up here and then you've got your three comps down here you got final render you got your logo here and you've got text edits so the final render obviously is where you're going to come to render your final thing this is where the final animation sits you can see it comes in and then it animates out. So once you make all your changes, you're coming to this comp right here. But first, we're going to go into some text edits. So if we click here into the text edits, we've got some text here in this comp. We can zoom out and zoom in and we can just jump in here and change this. So let's say that your name is John Doio. <laughs> no, we're going to leave it Doio. John Doio 12, just like that. And then your handle here is the big dough boy. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. We got John Doio 12 and the big Doughboy. If we jump into Final Render, you're going to see that it automatically updates the text in here for you inside the animation, and you're ready to go rendering this out once you put in your profile picture. So the profile picture is where things are going to get a little bit strange. So if you go to the Your Logo here, this is actually going to be your profile photo here, you're going to see that we've got more layers here than normal, and it's because we have to conform your logo or your profile picture into a circle like Twitter does. So I'm going to go up here into my assets, and we're going to see that we've got my AV right here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this AV. 
And once you delete that one, this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be blank. And what you can do is you can bring yours into the bottom just like that. So you just wanna bring your profile picture to the bottom below this red solid. So it should sit below the red solid. That is very important. Then click on your profile picture and make sure you scale it to be the correct size. So we're gonna scale it down and make sure that it stays inside of the circle. You don't want any of this black showing up inside of the circle. So make sure you scale it to where everything is inside the circle just like that. But you're gonna see you still got these little corners that are showing up on the the outside of the circle and this is where it's going to get a little bit different than normal so the reason we had you put it below the red solid is because the red solid is masking it inside of this circle so go to your layer and you're going to see where it says track mat right here and there's a drop down that says none if you do not see that on this bar up here right click go to columns and make sure you turn on modes. You wanna turn on modes, then you're gonna be able to see track mat down here. And where it says no, you're just gonna drop down and set it to alpha mat red solid. It will say alpha mat red solid if you put it below the red solid like you were supposed to. So alpha mat red solid, when you click that, you're gonna see that instantly those corners disappear. And now you've got your profile picture confined into that little circle, just like Twitter does. And when we jump back into the final render, you're gonna see that we've got it in here perfectly in between these two colors inside of a little circle and we've cut off the corners of your square profile picture and that is pretty much it you've already updated your text you've already updated your logo it comes in just like that it animates out the in and out points are already set for you so all you've got to do now is render it so make sure you're in the final render tab just like that make sure you're selected by seeing this little blue box go around your layers right here your composition and go up to composition and add to render queue inside of the render queue you want to click on where it says lossless in blue and you want to change that from AVI to QuickTime. QuickTime is just a much easier file to work with, but it is a Mac file, so you won't be able to open it up on your PC. You're going to have to take it right into right into your editor or right into whatever software you want to use. So set it to QuickTime. Channels, set it from RGB to RGB plus alpha. The alpha just means you're going to have a transparent background. You're not going to have the black background. This means that you can throw it over your footage. Hit OK, and then right over here where it says output to final render in blue, you click on that, and that's where you can name this whatever you want, save it wherever you want, and then you want to hit render over here and you are done. All right, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is really cool social media animation. I'm actually probably gonna start using this one for my own videos instead of the one I have been using. It's a really cool one that I think could pop up into the corner of your videos. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. I hope the microphone sounded good as well. I hope we didn't get too many plosives. If you guys didn't know what plosives are, now you do. If you ever hear in your recordings, you hear that popping, you hear that air, you'll know it is because you don't have enough wind cover around here. That's what pop screens are for. That's what the big poofy wind covers are for. They're to block out against plosives, but I really hope I can get away with using this one. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Jump down into the description, download the template, throw it into After Effects, make your changes, export an awesome Twitter animation, and I'll see you in the next video.